guys, we're welcome back to another part of the Not So Berry Challenge. You don't know how long it took me to do that intro because I recorded um, 100 Babe Challenge not long before, and all I kept saying was 100 Babe Challenge. But this is the Not So Berry Challenge, completely different challenge. And we're joined by Minty looking like her mood's supposed to be happy and everything, but the, her facial expressions, facial expression says to me, that she's actually quite upset. She's just trying to put on a um, happy, a brave face. A brave face. I can't speak today. I'm sorry. So never than that, let's get into it. Oh, and my voice is actually aching. My throat is aching. Gavin Richards, I believe that's from the um, neighbour welcome wagon. Is still here. I've never been an ass pot saying we haven't spent much time in her um, science lab. And so I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go and practice her analysis. I don't know if that's going to increase her fun. I mean, it should with Minty's personality because she is um, a very mischievous scientist. That's, she loves um, science. So you would think it would achieve her fun, but I don't know if it actually will. Let's find out, I think. Oh my god, these lights, I forgot. Because I just randomly put lights everywhere to get decent lighting in. And I forgot this was a mess. Anyway, enough about that. And she's just about to increase her logic skills. That's awesome. Which logic level 4? Minty can now read intermediate logic books. And she's found a new element, Celium. I don't know if we got that one yet. Asnet, Gublet. No, we haven't got Celium. So, there we go. Another element by the dust. Do, do, do. We've got four elements out of a possible one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We we need fifth we need fifteen and three or four. So that's eleven more to go. Which isn't too bad. Fifteen and that many. We can do fifteen. I mean how many days has she got left now? Fourteen plus a uh, adult, which is like twenty, and then elder. I don't know how they die whenever an elder. But She's got roughly 34 days unless something happens to her. So, and obviously more as against the Aldi years, but I want to achieve every four. She reaches an Aldi, so she just basically sit back and relax. She wants her final years of her life, you know, you know, just enjoy life a bit. Although she is enjoying life now, I mean, she's very happy, like, it's, like I've mentioned earlier, and she's enjoying, you know, messing around with logic in a lab. Um, maybe she's not enjoying it so much. Um, Sally and Benali, hey, I heard you became friends with Jay Henson first. Pretty cool. He is pretty cool. Not as cool as you, though, Sally. <laughs> um, let's play, um, let's play with Gavin, I think. Let's play some chess with Gavin. Let's get some new Gavin. We can do some friends. I mean, she hasn't really got many. Well, I suppose she does, but. Oh, sorry as well. Hey, who becomes friends? Friends Mitchell. He's pretty cool. He is pretty cool. Everyone's pretty cool. So let's go. Apparently she's got level one dancing skill. Wow, I didn't know about you that about you, Minty. Let's play until this increases her fun. We're all two she goes to bed. Well she, she it's like eight PM and she's just wide awake. I'm wide awake. Wait, I didn't hear him for wide awake. So tomorrow I'm thinking we go on a second date with Sally. I think that'd be a good idea. Maybe to I think it's a daytime date since it's like a Sunday. So like the park or something. I think along those lines, I think that'd be really cool and relaxed and a bit different from my last date. And yeah. Gavin and um Mindy seem to be getting along really well, which is really good. We need as many friends as possible since we've got um, quite a few enemies. So I think she needs a toilet. She's only a bit hungry. It's quite late at night. Oh, Gavin's gonna leave now anyway. Okay, it's quite late at night, so I think we'll just have some chips, you know, a bedtime snack, that sort of thing. And after, I think we'll use the toilet. And I think it'll then be bedtime. And she's pretty confident, as you can tell, with the confident walk, which is, uh, I ain't complaining. I mean, there's many worse moods you could be feeling than confident, girl. If you, I don't care what mood you're feeling, so you're feeling some form of Positive Mula, let's do that work. In that case, we'll rather you have the focus Mula. Let's speed through this, because... Oh, wait, no, she's finished anyway. Awesome. Pretty tasty. That's a fairly tasty dish. 
Minty loves her chips though. Or crisps. If you're in the UK like I am, they are crisps. Chips to us are what you call fries, but bigger. And you know what? Chips are actually nicer than fries, just putting that out there. Because it's more potato, there's more to them, more meat to them. Well, more potato. Um, well, I'm going to send her to bed. Well, no, she's already that tired. So I think, you know what? Let's treat yourself to a bubble bath, girl, I think. Take a bubble bath, girl. I think you deserve it. You've had quite a for, you've had quite a stressful day. If you didn't know, um, if you didn't watch the last part, rather, you wouldn't know that all Minty's neighbours came round 8 a.m. Saturday morning, like asked for like a welcome wagon for like a party and stuff. Welcome them to the neighbourhood, and they're like a week late. But I mean, that's quite a stressful thing. You have your breakfast, and suddenly all your neighbours coming around saying welcome to the neighbourhood. So that was quite stressful, I think, but she dealt with it, and she had to go and um, talk to Brian and set, cut things off with him. So I think she deserves this bubble bath. And I'm loving the aesthetic of the bathroom. Like, I wasn't a fan, but with it all like this, it's with the wall stuff and everything, I think it's actually alright. I'm getting, I'm just growing on me, okay? So I think after that, we're going to go and go to sleep. But I think, Minty, you should draw your blinds or something because everyone's gonna get an eye for they walk past your bedroom and um, your bathroom rather these windows okay right well, let's all not pay attention to how bad i am at placing windows in the house so let's spin along and it's bedtime she's not even tired but it's like quarter to twelve so i think she should be going to bed okay guys this morning we had her boyfriend, sat, well not a boyfriend yet, but he's going to be a boyfriend, asked if he could come round about 1 o'clock in the morning, I had to decline that, although I was tempted to. She just had one whim come up saying buy an object with 500 simoleons for being materialistic. You know what, you can indulge yourself, okay girl? You've worked quite hard at work, um, not that, there we go, we're level 3, oh wait, we're only level 3, I thought it was higher, anyway. Besides the point, let's have some breakfast, let's have some eggs on toast, which is what I had for breakfast, it's amazing, eggs on toast is like doing the best breakfast ever, so you go and have some proper cooked breakfast, and I think after that I'm going to um, call out Sally, and we go on a second date, if things go well in this date, I think I might ask Sally to be our boyfriend, because I, you know, I think things, things are going pretty smoothly between them, and they are, you see, the friendship bar is pretty up all the way, like two thirds of the way down, I would say, and the romance is one third of the way up, but I think by the time the end of the second date, it should be a lot more, and I think that's it, really. We need to talk to Ryan, because I think that friendship bar can do with going up a bit. We'll, we'll speak to Ryan. We won't speak to him yet, because we want to give him time to get over us, although he does seem really happy that we cut things off with him. But I think it's give him a couple of days anyway before we start talking to him, asking how he is and stuff. Just give us a give him a breather to, you know, think things through and get over us and find something else before we start hitting him up and talking to him and asking about his life and stuff. Give him a chance to get over us. Gavin Richards, hey, we became friends with Zoe. She's pretty cool. Everybody is pretty cool. I'm glad See, this Sims game needs to be more like real life because everyone's texting us, congratulating us, our new friends are saying how they're pretty cool. I think that a lot of people need to take a, a, a page out of their book, out of the Sims books. You know, when someone makes a new friend, even if you can't stand them, just say congratulations. I hope you become good friends. I think that's important. So what's she going to do? She's going to watch some sports. Um... And we need to pull some pranks and achieve level 6 mischief. So, I think what she's going to do is she's going to go on the wet. No, one thing. She's going to. Well, is it not order? Purchase Voodoo Doll. I think she's got one, hasn't she? You can purchase holiday crackers and fireworks and you can purchase a lot of stuff on the internet. I'm just saying. Just like real life. Um, I thought she had a Voodoo Doll. Maybe she doesn't. Maybe I must think of another sim, because one of my sims has got a food doll. I'm guessing it's not her. I'm pretty sure it must not be her, I must think it's someone else. But anyway, we need to um, do pranks. Let's send a chain letter. 
Who did we send a chain letter to? Let's send a chain letter to uh, Miller Munch. I think we have done that, yeah? Off you go. Just get these pranks underway. And our mischief score, I think. And then I think once it's hit like 9, 10 o'clock, I think that'd be an acceptable time to ask um, Salim on to another day. I'm assuming he's not working. No, uh, he's not working. Yeah, he is Oh, wait, he is working. So you've got a chain letter in your inbox and decided to pass it on to me. Four words, die in a fire. Probably will. How are they just friends? Um, so I don't know if to call him up now and ask him on a date now. Just hope he doesn't leave. Drawing a date or have to just wait till after. No, you know what? I think we're going to wait till after he's finished work. Because I think that would be a good idea. So I think until then, let's... I think let's go back and down to a science lab and practice analysis. I think that would be a good idea. Gavin Richards, hot tip. There's some great formers playing at the flea market this week. You up for a visit? You know what? Let's just go to the flea market for our newfound uh, neighbours, not Sally. Um, Ryan Bait? Um, we can bring Ryan. No, no, let's not bring Ryan on. It might be too soon. We need to give him a chance to get over for us. Um, we can't select any of our other neighbours, apparently. Okay, fine. We'll just go with Gavin then. I mean, Gavin's a pretty cool dude. He'll be alright. So we're here at the flea market and we've got a quest to watch performer. Click on any live street performer to watch them. Awesome. Let's watch them. Um, just words of warning is I probably did skip a lot of her analysing on the lab kit because nothing exciting happened. She didn't level up any skills, she didn't find any elements apart from one which she already had. So I probably did just soon pass most of that. But anyway, we got, I uh, want to, um, we need to watch the performer. But first, you know, she, let's ask, let's, you know, let's probably just stay ask that day. It's important to be polite. And then, I think we're going to do some mischief, because that's what she wants to do. Not romance, one thing. And she needs to, so we need to, like, invite to fake party. Um, if still false confidence. Trick of hand buzzer. Dark fast Ross just Oh, Mitty to learn the following traits by Gavin. He is creative, apparently. That is cool. Gavin just think good friends with Minty, that's good, it's good. He's very confident as well, so that's cool. I'm glad he's enjoying the stuff. She needs a toilet, so we better go and find the toilet, I think. Her fun's going up, which is good. Pour 10 pranks, wait, hang on. She just needs to pour, pour one more prank to um, scare him, there we go. She just needs to pour one more prank. So I think that's what we're going to do. Let's get to know him. Whilst I try and find a toilet for you to use. And I found one. Use the bathroom, I think. He's a bro, apparently. Cool. He seems quite a nice guy. If he wasn't with Sally, maybe we could have hooked up to fit him. Anyway, let's go and use the toilet. And once you use the bathroom, I will find a street performer. Because, and I found one. That's he's a... That I thought it'd be. Let's go and watch performance together. That's a nice group activity, I think. I think the thing is, when the flea market came out this morning, um, I came out this morning, I thought, what's the point going to the flea market? She might as well have work on her logic skills. But then Gabby and I thought, why not? It'd be a good chance to increase her mischief skills because that needs to be done for aspiration. She's really hyping aspiration now. Oh no, I thought this was higher, okay. What else should we do? Well, I suppose we could, um, uh, let's not dance again, I don't know. Let's tip him, he seems quite good. Let's tip him 20 millions. let's be nice, girl. you got plenty of money. I think let's go and sit together. I think that's, no, let's sit and try together. Try, let's go and try these suspicious looking bubbling things. I mean... I'm not the only one who thinks this looks like some form of drug taking, right? I'm not the only one. It's just the reactions and everything is spot on. She did not like that. We can change the flavour. Um, what do you think she'll enjoy? Snowfly, maybe? Ooh, that's a nice colour. Use it. He has like a use in it. What is this? Chilled for 
we need a bubble blow just a tad chilly. Oh, of course, it's having an effect. So let's try. Let's try a different one. Let's change the flavour. Okay, let's try again. They're both uncomfortable, is it? Because unpleasant surroundings. It's the surroundings then. What's so bad about the surroundings? I don't understand. Oh, gosh, she's really cold. That is having an effect on her. Where is Gavin going to? Okay. Well, you know what? No, it's not romance. It's him doing that. Wait, where are you going? Okay, fine. Um, we need to get to level seven mischief skills. I think we should just pick a fit him and go for it. That's right. Time, time. Oh, oh, here we go. Ash, let's go over here, guys. We found an enemy. Let's go pick some. Um, not pick a fight, but let's have some fun. I think. She needs to reach level six mischief skill, and what better way to reach that than messing with your enemy? Am I right? Okay, just walk through a load of people, girl. It's all right. Oh my God, God, yeah, sit down. There we go. Oh, so where's the baby chair? I'm not pregnant. Uh oh. Where are we going now? We're not always sound far away. No. Reach mischief level five. Mindy can now perform not just clouds and other sims. She calls a clog drain, drain on sinks and tubs. That sounds like fun. Is there any sinks around here? Because that would be perfect to clog the drain on. I don't think there is though. Ah, here we go. Is there a sink here? Yes, here we go, guys. Minty, it's so important I'll do this. Just go and clog the drain on both these. Oh, she can only go in the women's, can't she? Well, I guess I'll just have to do them, won't it? Oh, yes. Prank successful. Successful prank. This never looks like a successful ex executed prank. Uh, pla the prank, okay. I haven't been to a karaoke bar in a while, actually, so maybe I'm thinking, maybe, you know what? Even though it's a Sunday night. I think when Salem gets out of work, we should go to a karaoke bar with him. I think that'd be a good idea. A good idea. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go home and get her ready for the date. But we can't because there's an event going on. Let's cancel it early. I mean, we've done it. There we go. Off you go, girl. I mean, you guys back home. So we're now back. And I think what we're going to do... Actually, so I think we're going to have some, a snack before we go out. I think we just have some yoghurt before we go out. Because, well, she's not exactly hungry. She's not... She's going to be hungry. Once we get to the um, karaoke club, whatever, she's going to be hungry. So I think as well as we eat something now to fill her up just long enough. Because I don't want to go to the club. It's really where I have to go to the bar, order some food, wait around for that, wait for her to eat it. Before we get into the actual fun part of the date. So I think if we just get to eat a bit before she goes out, enough to just, um, fill her up. And if she's confident from a prank, which is so good. There we go, let's clean up. And by the time we do all this, I think um, Salim should be home from work and we can ask him out on a date. I can't wait for that. And you want to go watch the TV? Yeah, you might as well. I mean, watch some sports. Okay, what are you into? I didn't really picture this as a sporty girl, but... I mean, why haven't we the boat, Sim? I mean, Sims are always for surprises. <laughs> oh, Salim's uh, came round to our house. Even better. So let's invite him in, I think. Let's invite him. Thanks for meeting us here. And I think let's, um, I think let's do a bold pickup line. And then let's um, ask on date, I think. And he's flirty now, so it's getting more receptive to the date, being out on a date and her chance and all that. So let's go to the karaoke bar, I think. Or I think it's there for karaoke bars, so I don't know which one to go to. We've got the one in the spice market, the water side wobble, which I think is where she was. You got the one in the what is this, the fashion district or Planet Honey Hop. Which has got great acoustics, apparently. And you got the Stargazer lunch, which has the romantic aura. Um you know, uh, that would be the perfect date place, but I'm thinking I'll save that. In fact, I'm saving that lot for a very special event, I think. 
I think it's going to Planet Honey Hop. I haven't been to Planet Honey Hop before either, so I'm quite looking forward to going there. Here we go. So I've never been here before. Ooh! This actually looks really romantic. So let's go here. And let's, I think, so sorry to date some talk day. Okay, let's get all the dating goals out of the way. And then I think we'll do some karaoke for the, for the laughs. So I think let's go here. And I think we're going to ask about this day. Let's brighten this day. Let's just go here. And then she wants to go and sit and talk with a date. So maybe we can just go and sit together here at the back. Maybe a nice secluded spot for the date. So here we go. And then she's going to sit and talk to him. So let's get to know him. Although I think we know him with train time. Yeah, we know him pretty well. Let's just do it for the sake of it. And we need to flirt with a date. So let's blow a kiss. Bold pickup line, I think. And maybe flirt. Actually, flirt. It's karaoke contest night. The karaoke bar sends contestants Silky Scenes Girls by selecting a singing karaoke contest on any of the karaoke machines in the building. The winner will be announced at 11 pm, so make sure to sing for them. So we've only got a couple of hours. So I think, I think at 9 pm, I think we're going to have to do the karaoke. No matter what. So I think that's um, tease flirtatiously, um, tickle mercilessly, flirt away date you're flirty. So we've got to get flirty. We've got to get her flirty. And uh, she ain't going to be flirty in two hours though. Let's do an inside joke. Oh, she's flirty. Awesome. So let's joke for a date. Oh, wait, no. Let's kiss him passionately, I think. Can we kiss him passionately? I'm guessing we can kiss him passionately because we're not in, um, we're not exclusive at the moment, so that's fine. We'll just tell him some jokes. Tell him a dirty joke. Inside joke. Um, joke about old times. Yeah, let's get these jokes in the way. Oh yeah, he's really into them. They're both really flirty. Oh, he's blown kisses. He's really into them. I'm glad. Have deep conversations with your date and then I think we'll do a bit of karaoke. Is this the only karaoke machine in here? I think it is. So I think after, let's watch karaoke together because it'll be nice if she can get going then after they've done. Right, girl, singing karaoke contest. Um, hotter than sin. Up you go, girl. Go, 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 go. Come on before someone else gets there. Screw it. There we go. That's good. A quiet scene, girl. Minty, quad scene skill. Minty can improve her skill by clicking on the microphone or on herself and then singing practice sweet singing. She can now sing solo over house, jazz and pop songs and can also sing country by selecting joke using it. Awesome. This is going to be really bad. Hurt eardrums watching a bad karaoke performance. Oh yes, this is going to be really bad. House of Crowds are loving it. Oh, well, he seems to be quite enjoying it. She seems to be looking like he's quite embarrassed because his date's currently up, singing really badly. A dancer, guys. It's just amazing. Woo! Everyone do the Minty dance. Woo! Minty scored 25 out of 100 points. The winner will be announced in the contest. I don't think she'll be winning. Uh-oh, she's got the jealous pants from the jealous trait. It's not always reasonable, but sometimes those jealous feelings just come to the surface. Okay, girl. When you sing duets, country, when you sing with your dates, let everyone know who he is. I mean, to be honest though, you can't really be really feeling jealous. Cause, I mean, you're not exactly exclusive. You're just seeing each other at the moment. Although, because this date's going really well, they might be exclusive. It's not sent to bad sports. It hers is a train wreck though. The results are in and Shingo Fujita won the contest with a score of 47. Better look next time. Come back Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday night, 8 pm. We'll have to come back again once the scene scores better. Maybe destroy the competitors. Oh, they look so cute together. I, I'm glad I chose him. He seems to be just fine. They're happy together. That was fun. I love that. So, now Minty sounds a bit tired. So I think what I'm going to do, and she's thinking about handcuffs, not tonight girl, not tonight. 
So I'm thinking maybe we should maybe get flirty. She's got Jenna's pants. So I think maybe she should um, just flirt with a boyfriend. Well, not a boyfriend. Seems to be a boyfriend. And just get to know him. He's thinking about marriage. Not yet. It's not yet. We've got a couple of steps to go. She wants to go who? Oh my god. They're just, they're just high on hormones and love and everything. But I think that's blowing him a kiss. I think that's asking him to be a boyfriend. Because I think it's about time that friendship and romance bar is very high. So I think it's about time we make it exclusive. Yes! Sally just became boyfriend of Minty. Awesome! So I think maybe we should um, kiss him goodnight and then I think we should go home. Le Ripple, legendary date. This is nothing there. Something special in the Sims household entry to remember. Awesome! So go home, girl. She's feeling very flirty and in the mood for some woohoo. But that ain't happening tonight. Maybe the next day. Who knows? You can't just rush into everything. Well, you can if you're Stella Robinson from the Home of Baby Challenge, but let's not mention her or her lifestyle choices in this Let's Play. Hang on, wait, hang on, uh, wait. You guys also saw that vacuum, right? It wasn't just me who saw someone walking around in a vacuum suit. You guys saw it too, right? Uh, back home, uh, Minty's jealous of him, I know, and she's hungry, but you might as well just wait to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. Hi guys, it's morning time and Minty's up and she really needs a ring, so I'm gonna let her go to use the loo. She's been to call from um wanted from Jealous Train and it's really interesting because she was just with her new boyfriend last night and she's already wants to be she's always been into call and wants to be back with him. I mean this girl. Anyway, I think let's have some eggs and toast again because that's the new breakfast you now to cook. That's vegetarian friendly. So let's go and do that, I think. And uh, she's feeling very tense. Okay, girl, calm down, okay? Have some breakfast. Eat some, have some breakfast, have a shower, and you'll be fine. Just try to stay relaxed and calm. Hi, Mrs. It's good to spill this morning. You need cold shed suit for here. Let's not put time at 8 a.m. Want to go? Okay, fine. She's feeling into cool. I think in her, I think her personality is, even though she saw her boyfriend just last night, she wants to see him again tonight. Because she just misses him and she's feeling into cool again. She's worried he's going to cheat on her or something. So I think, yeah, I think it's good. let's go see him again tonight. Why not? Go to stop for him with him. And it's straight after work as well, so it's only like an hour to go ready. Go, don't burn it. I do that occasionally on scrambled eggs get stuck inside the pan. It's so annoying. Because you're just there trying to scrape it off. And it's a nightmare sometimes. Reach cooking level 3. Minty learned recipes for pan fried tea chocolate chip cookies and pancakes. So now she won't be living on eggs and toast. She can now spice up some pancakes. Woo! And work for Minty starts an hour. So she's probably going to have time for a shower. Oh, uh, maybe she will. Let's see. How fast she can eat these at her breakfast. Today's mail has been delivered. I'm guessing we've got bills then. 2000? You want, mate? No, um, it's alright. We'll pay them. Don't worry. We'll pay them. Will she? The question is, will she eat her breakfast with enough time to have a shower? No, you know what? You're not going to have a shower. I heard you and Salim started dating. Congratulations on that new boyfriend. I'm guessing today it's just going to be full of texts of a neighbour basically congratulating her on a new boyfriend. How did they find out? No, you see, little people. I can't wait to spring update gets rid of the pants and some sorry. I love them, but I don't my whole my whole town is turning green. I don't want this. I didn't ask for this. It's not why I'm taking a shower now. So I think it's just going to play. Collection day. The laboratory is running low on supplies. Oh no, I hate this. You'll need to collect more specimens in order for the lab to continue research. Keep your eyes peeled, but not too peeled. This can take all day if you're not careful. <laughs> collect, uh, let's just go and do a lot of digging. Okay, let's go and do some digging. Let's find collectibles. Oh, this takes all day. Because all she digs up is capsules. Now I can't care for capsules. The bot scientist career doesn't care for capsules either. It just wants stones, rocks, crystals, all that. 
So I think I saw this out. I'll run through it all because I mean, you guys ain't the ones. Oh, she's found a ruby. We're off to a great start, guys. A ruby. A flaming gunning, whatever that is. I've just butchered that pronunciation. I'm sorry. Maybe she won't just be finding the capsules then today. I hardly punch that because then it gets annoying. A sapphire? We're having luck today, guys. Usually when I do this, it's just capsule after capsule after capsule. But not today, which is really good. And iron in? They must have patched this. They must have done something here because it's never been like this before. I've, I've usually found like one like um, crystal within like every ten capsules. Uh, spoke to, oh, still got a treasure map. Fine. Yeah, I know, Minty. You'll need a shower, but you need to do what at work for. I let you have a shower. Get that work performance bar up, and then you can treat yourself to a shower. Okay, she found an emerald. This is all good stuff. This is all looking really good, actually. Oh um, no, this is really big. It's sapphire. Well, I suppose that's realistic. I mean, digging would you get you dirty? Although I don't know how you got all that dirt in your hair. I mean, you look really look like you've aged like 50 years. I'm just saying that hair color anyway. Many oh, wait, it's probably too soon. Just digging up capsules again, guys. Dig, dig. Dig. I don't care that you're dirty. You're digging up all these until you find some crystals. She found a fire opal. Please be the last one. Please. Please. I'm f I am just I want to get all the actual stuff. She found a sand in. Yes. Well, she does need to do that. Awesome. This only filled up that much of the bar as well. It's ridiculous. Well, let's go add water. Let's just go and water all the plants. Why not? So they're looking a bit dry. I haven't got the time to. Glad it didn't take as nearly as long as I thought it would. They must have bugged that. Comment down below if you know anything about that. Because I, I, it's always took me so long to do it. Could you cancel about metal or crystal? We can do that. Let's call them about the emeralds. Emeralds is composed of Gublek and Syndrome. It's more Gublek and Syndrome. That's not helpful. Um, let's go fishing. Good idea, because we haven't done that now that's this Let's Play yet. Although, the nearest fishing is pond is such a long way away. Is it worth it? It's not worth it travelling that distance. Let's not. Let's go and ask Gabriel, Gabriel, Gabriel whatever, for a crystal. I think that's a good way to spend that time instead. Excuse me, smelly minty coming through. She doesn't smell mint. She smells a B.O. And dirt. Sure, he always has crystals lying around. It's ridiculous. Shout the co-workers. Okay. So that's, um, discuss work. That counts as chatting, doesn't it? Compliments out of this. Compliment the work uniform. How it flatters him. And let's discuss interest. Oh, wait, before you have. Okay, cool. Analyze the metal. We can do that. Let's analyze. Um, analyze collection. Let's an analyze the flaming gun and whatever that is. What is it, girl? What is it? Is there any elements to be found in it, or is it just a waste of time? Oh yeah, what is it? New metal found. She found a baconite. Awesome. Ask Kuro for metal. Done. Do you have any metals lying around? I know you're just about to treat yourself to lunch, but I mean, do you have any metals? Excuse the mess as well. Why is there white patches on a bird? What the hell's happened there? I don't understand this. Where are you going? Oh, wait, Don's running behind you. It's okay. Okay, whatever. It's right. As for metal, come on, girl, you need to do this. The quickie juicy crashes and quickie can have a shower. I'm just saying. So if you want a shower, hurry up. Uh, heavy metal, that's a heavy metal lying around apparently. Classic coming for crystal. It's all about snatching everyone's metals and crystals today, isn't it? Yeah, Ruby, awesome. It's always the same stuff. Right. Transformer collectible. Okay, we've got two sadiums, sadiums, whatever that is. I don't know why. Let's transform it. I don't know why we need to transform it. Let's transform it anyway. What's the purpose of transforming this metal? It's the same metal. 
No, it ends. It's a fang flower. This alien flower has quite the defense mechanism. It looks like it wants to bite you. Um, let's just put that in our pantry for now. And let's chat with Don and Fabio. Let's brighten this day. Although well, he seems to be pretty happy anyway. Um, let's ask about day. And then after, let's go and take a shower, okay? You're happy now? You get to take your shower. I think after, let's just practice our analysis, increase that logic skill, and earn those elements that we desperately need in this Let's Play. Uh, she looks so much better, so much more happier now. Ready to conquer the day after that bad start with the digging. Right, let's go and practice our analysis skill. New no, number found the alien element. So, who might hijack Fat Festivals in town? We won't be going because we said we were going to go to the opera with Van Salim. So, I'm guessing we're going to have to miss out now, which is a shame because that is so up our alley. Reach Logic Level 5. Minty can now collect fossil samples and analyze them under a microscope. And she's found in Malacca, which is another element which I don't know if we've got yet. Royal Day Works. Minty's back home. She has earned 457 million. So I probably skipped most of the end of her work shift because she was analyzing like metals and stuff. And she barely found anything, if anything. So it's no point now. There's a minor obsession actually whilst I just went. That's a bit random, but I'm fed up of the um you know, the um negative mulets going on about how she has a mild new surroundings all that in such a long time because she's just materialistic. Do we have a Malacca? That's one of the elements we did find at work. No, we don't worry, we're ten five down, ten more to go. Might as well open up that as well, see what that's all about. I'm waiting for um what's this face thingy about us about that? Opera. I think because sometimes it doesn't happen. I think what we're going to do is I'm going to travel to the Human Hijinks Festival. That's not me, households. Let's travel and let's travel. So let's travel for neighbors. I think. Gavin, there we go. A newfound friends. Everyone's coming with you. Awesome. I think let's have some friend time. Um, Human Hijinks Festival. I think that'd be a good idea, because that is so up her alley. I mean, we've got to go there, don't we? The Plank Suits and Jokes, jokes us Challenge has begun. Drink like the dark or light teas, join the side. Oh, I think I know what tea we'll be drinking from, guys. I think it's safe to say we'll be drinking from the dark tea. And join the mischief side, the Plank Suits side. And let's increase that mischief scale. Let's join the Plank Suits together. Let's let everyone go. Let's all join the pranksters, I think. She's in a lab coat. That needs to change. Change outfit. Every day, I think. This is an everyday outfit. And she's happy from love. Everyone but Zoe's joining us. I mean, come on, Zoe. Or oh, Evan is joining. Have you joined? No, Gavin. No, Gavin's like, no. Oh, Minty's joining the pranksters. Four mischief interactions to gain points for a team. Oh, this is so bad. Who is she talking to? She's going to go and talk to my son Nicholson. Okay, here we go. He's joined the light side, so I think he's the perfect guy to start causing mischief with. And not in that way. Um, mischief, let's lie about Korea. You know, your co-worker sitting next to you. Let's invite to a fake party. Let's imply tea sabotage. And let's imply jokester sabotage. Although he ain't going to like that because he's a jokester. Convinced tea is poisonous. Whilst you're drinking it, I mean, seeing the prank pranks are things on. Pranks are on lead by four. Keep four interactions for your team. Oh, uh, it's Minty. Let's be honest, it's Minty that's influencing this. The power of mischief comes through Minty Spain's. Perform mischief actually in activities to improve pranks score. Mischief skill gain is increased. I've noticed it. Give fake bad news. She needs a toilet because this drink. Slap them silly. Let's just really up the mischief skill here, girl. So our press was removed. I wonder what happens with that um, opera. Panks us in the lead four. We're still in the lead, Panks us are. Also, we won that rewards. The rewards are quite good for winning. Reach mischief level six. Minty can now use the plane. Phone to plane hooky. And I think we're on the last um, section of the mischief aspiration. Let's use the bathroom because she needs to. So what does she do? Achieve level 10 mystery skill, clog drains of three different homes, and perform food do five times. I believe if the pranksters win, which they should, they get a food do doll in their pantry. So hopefully they'll win. Is there any vegetarian food here? 
No, I don't think so. Why can't Kate into fish tanks? Just someone, just one ditch. It's not that hard. I guess we're just going to have to live on bar food. Mm -hmm. What if? Let's just have some french fries. I mean, at least they're vegetarian approved. What? Why are the french fries? You're hungry. Grab a serving of french fries. Don't come and wait for your non-vegetarian food in front of your face. Well, let's call some mischief. Let's not romance. Oh, every time I go mischief, I always click on romance. I'm sorry, that. So let's do that. Let's imply tea sabotage. Let's imply jokes. Oh, yes, the pranks are sweet. All pranks have received a food doodle. Fireworks and five hundred simonians. Festival end in one hour. Awesome. Doesn't she have fireworks? Yes. Why don't you place in these fireworks in the world and light them yourself, girl? Oh no! Um, this has got disaster written all over it, I think. Oh, not too long. Apparently she can't get anywhere. Okay, it's all bugging out now. Let's just go home, I think, since the bugs are starting to set in. And I think starting to disappear, although I think that's because of the festival ending. So I think that's good. So guys, I think that's it for this part. I think next part we're going to go on the third date of Salim. And I think we're going to take that relationship to the next level, if you get what I mean. Since they want they both very flirty, and Minty at least wants to do with him. So maybe that might take place next episode, so stay tuned for that. Hopefully there'll be another promotion in next episode, because she is due one. So hopefully... Um, next save Salim and another promotion that's what's going to happen next episode so like it if you enjoyed this episode and comment below if you've got any suggestions subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and hit the bell if you want to get notified every time I upload I'll see you guys next time bye